all animals. Fatal skin disease hits British dogs. A flesh gnawing skin disease is claiming the lives of dogs across the British Isles. According to vetsforpets.com, many cases of Alabama rot have been reported across the British Isles over the last several years. The disease is fatal to 9 out of 10 infected dogs. The cause remains unknown, but one commonality is that most reports come from dog owners who walk their pets in the countryside. Dog owners are advised to avoid muddy forest areas and to clean their pets' paws and legs thoroughly after a walk. Thousands of UK dog owners walk their pets regularly in forest areas, and only a small number of dogs are afflicted with Alabama rot. Stories of Man's Best Friend Dog stays behind to protect baby goats from wildfire. This is Odin, a Pyrenees dog from Wine Country, California. And these are his goats. Wine Country is currently ablaze with wildfires and Odin was all up in it. His owner, Tembo Hendall, said he and his family caught word of an approaching fire and were trying to leave, but Odin wouldn't budge. Hendall said they even cried for Odin and the baby goats, thinking the worst would come to pass. But to their surprise, they found Odin and the goats, and even some deer alive just a few days later, albeit a bit burned. Now, if you're Norse geeks like us, you're probably thinking Odin went all Odin and sent the fiery giant Sertor back to the pit from whence it came. But that's not the case, at least not here. Hendel reckons that Odin managed to ferry the ghost to a rocky area near the home. Odin, for his troubles, suffered heat damage to his fur, which turned orange, and some burns to his paws. Meanwhile, much of his human's farm was damaged in the fire. The family has set up a you caring page to help pay for barn repairs, as well as for water and shelter for Odin, his sister Tessa, and the goats. If you're feeling generous, we've included a link in the description. All in the name of science. A team of scientists has recloned the world's first dog clone in a bid to find out if the process has an impact on a clone's health or lifespan. Dog clone Snuppy was created in 2005 using a stem cell from an Afghan hound and born via a surrogate Labrador mother. The original dog, named Ty, died from cancer when he was 12 years old. Snuppy would later live to age 10 before also succumbing to cancer, though not the same kind. When Snuppy was 5 years old, researchers collected his stem cells while also taking eggs from female dogs and taking out their nuclei. Using a process called somatic cell nuclear transfer, nuclei from stem cells were transferred into the empty eggs, then stimulated into dividing, creating over 94 embryos. The embryos were implanted into surrogates, resulting in the birth of four live reclones. Though one died from diarrhea days after birth, the remaining three are now nine months old and still healthy. Researchers say they will closely monitor the puppies and measure virtually all aspects of their lives, including growth, metabolism, immune system, and disease development. Stay tuned! Presenting Labrathor a dog is bringing Mexico some much-needed hope after a catastrophic earthquake hit the country earlier this month. This is Frida, an adorable Mexican Navy rescue dog. Images of her went viral on Twitter after the Mexican Navy tweeted a collage of her. Apparently, over the course of her career as a super dog, she helped save a dozen people. According to the Los Angeles Times, she's been called a hero and a symbol of hope. Just like Superman. No, not the Henry Cavill version. According to reports, Frida is currently helping authorities look for survivors in Mexico City. But her super dog duties don't stop there. When she's not being awesome, Frida is apparently helping train other hero dogs. Now, how cool is that? Isn't this wee guy just the cutest? Meet Cheech. This little guy is a rescue dog at the City of Waller Animal Shelter in Texas. Some volunteers at the shelter initially believed this was Cheech snarling and were scared of him. But they soon found out that that's no snarl, that's an old-fashioned doggy smile. And that same smile has gone viral. Apparently, he can smile on command and is described as super sweet. And the good news is he's up for adoption. You can find out more about that in the link below.